Now, crews are combing through the wreckage of an Ybor City nightclub destroyed by fire overnight. Eagle 8 HD flying over the amphitheater on 7th Avenue this morning. You can see the charred, blackened roof. It's just collapsed in on itself. Firefighters were on scene early checking for more hot spots this morning. The fire marshal and the city code enforcement officers have ordered some of the buildings around that fire to be evacuated for safety concerns. Tonight, a number of people are out of work because of the fire as well. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson is joining us from Ebor City tonight. It was a massive fire, Jeff. When we watched it, we all reflected back upon May of 2000 when we saw what happened to Ebor City. This was a big, big fire last night. Yeah, good evening, Keith. It's kind of amazing what did happen here last night. I just want to point out two firefighters were taken to the hospital, treated for breathing in heavy smoke. They're going to be okay, but fortunately, there were no other injuries last night. Uh, they're working to clean things up, board up the windows right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, I also want to point out that Tampa Fire Rescue was able to prevent this fire from spreading to other buildings. The video from above, captured by Eagle 8 HD, is incredible. As flames shot high into the air, lighting up the night sky, across the street, our cameras were there as firefighters put water on the fire from several hoses, keeping the fire from spreading throughout the historic district. City code enforcement officers posted notices today ordering surrounding occupants out of their buildings, putting a number of employees out of work. It's hard because these guys, you know, they went to bed, they had a job, and then they woke up and now they're uncertain, not sure what's going to happen. I mean, it's, it's a tragedy. Yeah, we've seen work crews uh, here just in the last hour start to board up uh, the storefronts here at the amphitheater, other crews working to clean things up. The city is mandating that a structural engineer come out and certified uh, electricians come out to check out these buildings, make sure the building is safe, make sure that the electrical functions are safe before they can reoccupy these buildings and turn the electricity back on, Keith. Yeah, and this is a busy time for Ebor City. I mean, you're going into the weekend. It looks like the sidewalk's going to be closed there. Some of these folks aren't going to have jobs. So uh, it's going to be, uh, be careful, I guess, if you're going down that way, right, Jeff? Right, yeah, Frozen Four in town. They're expecting big business. Not going to happen here now because of this fire. Yeah. Jeff Patterson live in Ebor City tonight. Thank you for that. And investigators are telling us that they believe this fire was started last night by a welder doing some work in the building. Eight on your side, investigator Shannon Bankin joins us now because she's been looking into that welder's history for her 6 p.m. story. And you found some things that are pretty alarming. We have found some things. This is the background that we have dug up on him. And we have been looking into this all day. We have been out in the neighborhood and Ebor City talking to people who work there and they are concerned about obviously what happened but they say that they're not completely surprised that this happened and this guy has been doing work in this neighborhood for years but eight on your side wants to know whether he has the right permits whether he has the right licenses and I'm working that story still I'm waiting on some phone calls right now from state officials that are looking into this for us and I'll have all of that coming up at six because certainly there could be some insurance implications if they had somebody working on the building that wasn't supposed or wasn't licensed to do that. Yes, there's a lot more here, and we're still digging into it, and we will find the answers. All right. And Thank a reminder much. that we also have uh, some more pictures of this Ebor City fire on our website on WFLA.com. We'll also be posting the latest updates as we get them.